President Viktor Yanukovych spoke. One place the speech was not aired was in Maidan Square, the heart of where the demonstrations that led to his removal took place. He insisted he is still Ukraine's rightful leader and vowed to return once it was safe for him to do so. CCTV's Roy Rettenberg spoke to Ukrainians, Ukrainians who heard the speech and has this report. This screen has been broadcasting live transmissions of parliament and rallies here in Independence Square, the Maidan, for weeks. It did not broadcast a live transmission of Viktor Yanukovych's press conference, and many people here say that's a good thing. At least one person telling us that Yanukovych showed them silence when they spoke, and they're showing him silence when he speaks. Now, much of this square has been turned into a memorial service for the people who were killed here, flowers being laid here on a daily basis, and many people thought it'd be inappropriate to broadcast broadcast a transmission of the ousted president. I think everyone who saw on TV what was happening in the country has already drawn his own conclusions about this person. Many people gathered around cars to hear Yanukovych's speech broadcast live, often laughing at some of his comments. A reminder that many here simply don't like him. There is no sanity in his words. He says he wants to do better, but so many innocent people die. Even though we don't have a death penalty, we should have it for him. Several Ukrainian television channels decided not to broadcast the press conference. At this pub, we found one young Ukrainian couple who watched it online. Not only do we not trust him, we think he's a liar and has psychological problems. These are the types of sentiments you would expect to find here. After all, these are the people who protested for months to see Viktor Yanukovych out of office. And as a result, they're likely the last people who will be convinced by his words. Roy Rettenberg, CCTV in Kiev.